what I'm saying to you this morning, my friend. Even if it falls your lot to be a street sweeper. Go on out and sweep streets like Michelangelo painted Pete's picture. Sweep streets like Handel and Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Sweep streets so well that all the host of heaven and earth will have to pause and say, here lived a great street sweeper who swept his job well. If you can't be a pine on the top of a hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub on the side of the reel. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. And when you do this, when you do this, you've mastered the length of life. This onward push to the end of self-fulfillment is the end of a person's life. Now, don't stop here, though. You know, a lot of people get no further in life than the length. They, they develop their inner powers. They do their jobs well. Do you know they try to live as if nobody else lives in the world but themselves? And they use everybody as mere tools to get to where they are going. They don't love anybody but themselves. And the only kind of love that they really have for other people is utilitarian love. You know, they just love people that they can use. A lot of people never get beyond the first dimension of life. They use other people as mere steps to which or by which they can climb to their goals and their ambitions. These people don't work out well in life. They may go for a while. They may think they're making it all right. But there is a law. They call it the law of gravitation in the physical universe. And it works. It's final. It's inexorable. Whatever goes up can come down. You shall reap what you sow. God has structured this universe that way. And he who goes through life not concerned about others will be a subject victim of this law. So I move on and say that it is necessary to add breath to length. Now, the breath of life is the outward concern for the welfare of others, as I said. Man has not begun to live until he can rise above the narrow confines of his own individual concerns to the broader concerns of all humanity. Right. 